Hello there, fellow space captains. This is Connor, and welcome back to Dreadnought. I really do want to play some more of this ship here. Uh, the new Tier 3 hero ship, the Han Yuman, or however you pronounce that. Someone, someone did comment on the correct pronunciation of the name, but I uh, haven't got that open right now. So, just want to play this here and a couple of other Tier 3s that I have set up in my fleet. So, looks like everyone's focusing on, on Jareel, this enemy destroyer. So, let's do the same. Come on, keep firing. Take him down. Ah, oh, he's out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Armor up, fire up. Have we got a healer at all? Anybody? No? Why did I use my broadside? God damn, Razor Naga. I'm looking to see. We don't have a healer, no. There's none on the um, mini map, so there's none in play. So I did actually intend on uploading some fractured space today. Oh, enemy Corvette. But the effort of play in Fractured Space and the couple of games I played just completely destroyed any will or excitement in the game for me today. Or any want to play it. So, yep, no Fractured Space today. Possibly tomorrow, but not today. So I apologise to those of you who like Fractured Space, but again, the level of play that I have been seeing today is just abysmal. Like three or four people on the team are completely and utterly amazing, but then there's either one or two people that just completely let them down with just the stupidest things I've ever come across. I mean, from a sentinel on our team uh, being the fastest ship on our team, they just didn't, uh, you know, focus any sort of effort on capturing mines or back capping or any sort of, you know, sort of strategy you consider common sense. They just, well, put it nicely, did fuck all. And caused a loss. People just jumping all to the same lane, even though the other lane is just about to be captured by the enemy team. Um, it's, types, it's those types of things. In Dreadnought, you can get past idiot players, because there are so many more players. And you can, if you play the right ship, carry the game somewhat. In Fractured Space, it's not like that. It's all heavily reliant on team play. Okay, I got him with some of that plasma broadside, but not much. I'm being fired up by that enemy destroyer. Let's get out of here. I am down. Okay. Let's switch it up. What have we got? Is that the Palos or the Kitsuna? Let's go Kitsuna. I never considered putting a tier 4 into this, but then again, we don't have any tier 4s. The enemy do though. They've got 1, 2 tier 4s. So it's somewhat balanced, although not at all. Right, where are we here? So, I just need something to shoot at. That will be very nice. To move, dude. Move! Target down. Another one. Mm. Ah, I missed the Corvette. I'm being fired up by something. And someone. Come on, get out of the lane of sight. Come on. There we go. Come on, he's coming. Oh, I get the bomb catapult off just in time. Yeah. Did some damage to him at least. Come on, get me back into the fight. We're losing ever so slightly. That's not a big worry. What is a worry is concentrating on how long until I warp back in the battle just so I don't get the 15 second uh, forced warp in penalty thingamajig. Which is very annoying. Gotcha. Although I didn't do the majority of the damage, I still got the kill before he managed to escape. Um, didn't hit him. Oh, hello. Right. Come on, Stasis. Get him. I need to be back a bit further, just so I can... I could be firing the entire time I'm moving here, couldn't I? 
Although I'm not that bright today. Come on, come on, come on. I'm so screwed. Well, shit. Oh, still one on me. Oh, there's two on me. But there are a couple of those retarded missiles that really don't know what they're doing or where they're going. Can I swing around here and try and take out that, that Talionis? Come on. Oh, no problem, <laughs> I guess. Alright, let's move. Oh, okay, they're on me again. Come on, bomb catapult. Ah, damn it. Bomb catapult was a little bit too um, close to the mark there for it to hit accurately. Right, let's switch up to the... No, I don't like the way the Palos aims. It's just aggravating. Stick to the Dreadnought here. Whose name I'm trying to avoid and dodge because I don't really uh, remember how to pronounce it correctly. So, uh, oh. Sacrifices, sacrifices. Okay, let's see if we can get the command ship down and boost our points a little bit. Looks like it's got some... Yep, it's got multiple destroyers supporting it. Come on, big boy. Taking power off the engines. Oh, I got you, boy. I got you. Right, focusing on the tactical now. Come on. Switching to the repeaters. Yeah, it's no avail. I'm going down. Or maybe not. What is firing at me? Oh, it's the command ship. Oh, God, I'm in a bad, sticky situation here. Come on. Ah. I'm not doing 100% today. Should have at least put one tier four in my loadout. Oh, no, misters. Oh, I'm going back with the Katsuna. Mr. Sniper, flee! You've got a Talionis on your ass, and that's the last type of infection you want in that particular area. Um. Who are the tier fours? Well, of course, the two highest people on the enemy team. Direct hit. Come on, wait for the shields to drop. Oh, he's out of range. Come on. Bomb catapult out. Although I don't hold out much hope for it, actually reaching him. Before he fully heals up. Nope. Okay, I'm going to try and focus on this destroyer here. Come on. come on. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. No, I don't really want to meddle with those missiles that are un inbound. Ah, we lost. Fuck well. Fairly enjoyable match. Anyway. And I think that another one might be on the tables. So, let's have another one. Right, so I think I'm going to go with the, um, let me see, where are you again? The Han Yuman, which name uh, I'm butchering right now, but uh, apologies. But anyway, we've got a new map, which was released with the most recent updates that also added the ship and the Tunman, which is a Tier 4 Jupiter Arms artillery cruiser, which is also a hero ship. And what map is this? Amirani, Team Deathmatch, good stuff. And it's the Night Variant. Doesn't really look like nighttime, it looks more like the early evening, late afternoon. Oh, that is a very nice Volcano. Oh, this is a very nice map. Haven't even left the starting zone, it's already very nice. 
Oh wow, it's a very industrialized map, isn't it? I'm assuming it's sort of like mining centric, maybe. We're getting roasted out here. We need support. It is very nice to see a brand new map, one that also looks incredible. But with that comes the fact that I am very new to it, and I don't really know the ins and outs of it yet. So, a Dreadnought is probably the best ship to be playing, just so we don't get any nasty surprises. So in my fleet composition, I've also put tier, two tier fours. Neither of them are hero ships. I've got the Valkor, which is pretty much still tier three uh, module-wise. Haven't really got much further than that with the Valkor. And the Jutland, which... Of course, I've got a lot further with. Oh, dude, why you do this to me? Me no like it. I'm trying to entice him to actually fire. But it doesn't look like he wants to play. Oh, hello. Out of range. Although these plasma batteries are very, very good. They are very short range compared to some of the other weapons and other dreadnoughts. Primarily the Monarch class. No, I didn't put power to weapons. I put power to freaking engines. Why does it keep going to... Oh, weapons. Oh. Come on. Oh, somebody's shooting. But I'm reloading. Right, come on. Let's see if we can give him uh, an old handshake. Hmm? Oh, and another... One of our cells, uh, Oberon Dreadnoughts, has the same idea. Now, where are you hiding, yet? Big skitter, you. Broadside away! <laughs> uh, it's equivalent to a shotgun to the face. Only it's a massive dreadnought sized broadside to the face. Oh, I really like this. Um, this has got to be an Oberon planet, surely. I mean, look at the structural design and aesthetic. Very Oberon. The clean whites. The very phallic shape of, <laughs> of, of the buildings. I did not even notice that. Look, they are very phallic shaped. Well, I suppose they are more so to me because I've got a dirty mind. But, uh, well, whatever. But look at that. Oh, this is what I wanted. Look at the little buildings down there. It just gives you a better idea of how grand and massive your ship is. Come on, get out of sight. Hard in the engines. There we go. Armor amplifier enabled just in time. Now we're going to... Tr oh, hello. Shmi class Dreadnought is behind us. He's launched his missiles, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Too many structures and terrain in the way. Swing around here. Ah, uh, no, don't bounce. Is all of this uh, architecture Oberon themed? There looks to be a few that aren't over here mainly. Oh, you dirty bastard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bomb catapult almost took me out. Come on, I'm on fire. Come on, keep me up. Take him down, guys. Come on, focus fire. Oh, I'm screwed. I am so screwed. Yep. Could have used my energy there to get safety. But, um, too little, too late. Let's switch it up. Let's go Valkyr, huh? Well, you know what? Let's go Jutland. Haven't played it in a while. Same sort of build, only it's a lot heavier. Oh, and I've got Warp Jump. I mean, this thing does not compare to the Han Human at all in speed, but for, well, sheer bulk and armor. More than makes up for it. Let's use our jump here to get forward. Warping into the fucking claws and fangs of death. Oh, what's this guy doing? He's hiding in the lava. What? And I'm making a mistake. I'm using the main battery when I should be using the repeaters. And yes, I did just jump into the jaws of death, which is not good. Come on, broadside. Forward up. Shields, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Ah, oh, damn it. 
Well, that was a mistake on my end. Jumping into a position where I didn't really have a fair idea of what was there. I knew that a couple of ships were there, including the tactical, but I did not know that that guy was hiding in the lava. There's a game um, used to be out in the PlayStation 2. I'm not sure if it was out for other consoles, but it was called War of the Monsters. And as the title would suggest, it's a War of the Monsters. You can pick um, all these original, unique monsters. Some of them, of course, you know, heavily influenced by Godzilla, King Kong, uh, Godzilla villains, you know, the science, mystery science theater of the 60s and 70s, that type of thing. But um, yeah, it's a fun game. And there is this Hawaiian island, which is made up with mostly a volcano and a small city. And there's like a, um, a magma Hawaiian type deity that comes from it. And it really, really reminds me of this map. I'm going to have to see if I can get that game. They should remake it. It's an awesome game. It, it, it's not really like a fighting game, although it is. It's more free room fighting, where you can run through the city, claim up the buildings, destroy the entire city if you want to. It's a really cool game. Come on. Avoided those missiles, like a pro. Launched my um, broadside when I wasn't supposed to. But come on, got armor of pulse. I forgot I had that. Power to shields, keep me alive. Come on, broadside. Do your worst. Need to get out of here. Come on, survive just until they make the jump, please. Ah, damn it. I'm not really having a great amount of success today. Let's jump into the Valkor. Most of its modules are tier 3, but uh, if they play it right, it shouldn't really make a difference. Yeah, there's quite a lot of tier 3s on this team, as well as on my enemy team. In fact, the enemy have more tier 4s than we do. Oh, hello. Get out of here. Come on, faster. I really need um, thrust amplifier or something like that. Afterburner, something to help me get away from these guys faster. Oh, crap. Well, that was close. No, 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 it isn't. I agree. Mr. Person, who's on my crew for some inexplic inexplicable reason. Now, where's that artillery cruiser? I don't know, but there's one there, tier 3. Let's say hello. Come on. Power the weapons. There we go, target down. You're our next Mr. Uh, tactical. Come on, come on. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. Out of here. No, or maybe not. <laughs> well, you can't win them all. But I got to the top in the last minute. What? 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 Well, that was a fun game, even though we lost. Holy crap, they more than doubled our score. No. Yeah. That wasn't good. Right, just while it's going over the score here. Let me see. Hmm. Very little per ship. Thanks, k -Wire. Say hello to... I don't know, Megatron? Yes, k -Wire. Hello, 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 everyone. 
Nice to have played with you or against you, Kaywire. Let me just see. Were you with me or were you against me? You were against me. Ah, well. All the same in love and war, or whatever that saying is. But anyway, um, yes, hope you enjoyed the video. You can't win them all. But if you'd like to support me on the channel, then you can do so with the links in the description below. Uh, this is the part of the video I hate, but is uh, completely in 100% necessary. You can either do it through Patreon. I have 10 awesome patrons at the moment. Their names are now on screen. Or you can make a one-time donation with the link uh, that's in the description as well. Now these will be very, 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 very much appreciated because at the moment I'm unemployed and the only money I ever get is from YouTube. I don't get anything off the government and what little I do get is from YouTube even though the monetization is crap and they keep making it worse and reducing the amount you can get. Uh, it's the best I can do at the moment. So if you do want to see continued videos, more videos, more overviews, that type of thing, then um, by all means, make a donation if you can, please. Uh, also... If you want to see the Tunman, any donations that are, well, obviously donated, will go towards it. Because this one is quite expensive compared to the Tier 3 one. And that's it. Uh, enjoy whatever it is you're playing, whether it be in space or otherwise. And I, of course, like always, will see you next time. Bye-bye. Good day, loyal citizens of the Empire. Today, the Emperor has employed a system that will allow you to support the latest Imperial endeavors. Click the link below to support a safer and brighter future for every citizen of the Empire.